On this day in 1657, the city of Edo, now Tokyo, was devastated by the Great Fire of Mieki. Unlock the pages of history with On This Day, daily doses of captivating events from the past. Hit subscribe and join the journey through time. The calamity, believed to have originated in the Hanjo district, quickly turned into an uncontrollable inferno due to strong winds and the prevalence of wooden structures characteristic of the Edo period. Despite earnest attempts to extinguish the flames, the fire raged on for two days, causing widespread devastation and leaving a significant portion of the city in ruins. The lack of adequate firefighting resources and the intricate layout of the urban landscape contributed to the challenges faced in combating the disaster. This tragic incident resulted in the displacement of tens of thousands, profoundly impacting the social and economic fabric of Edo and serving as a somber historical reminder of the vulnerability of densely populated areas to the ravages of fire during that era. On this day in 1882, Queen Victoria faced a harrowing moment when Roderick MacLean attempted to assassinate her as she boarded a train at Windsor Station. MacLean, a disgruntled poet, fired a shot at the Queen from close range, but his aim faltered, and Victoria escaped unharmed. The incident unfolded in the aftermath of various attempted regicide acts, heightening concerns for the safety of the monarchy. MacLean was swiftly subdued and declared insane, avoiding a harsher punishment. The failed assassination underscored the vulnerability of even the most protected figures and fueled discussions about the mental health of individuals who posed a threat to public figures. While Queen Victoria emerged physically unscathed, the event left a lasting impact on her and the broader perception of royal security during a period marked by social and political tensions. On this day, in 1917, the jones shafroth Act marked a significant juncture for Puerto Rico by granting its residents United States citizenship. Sponsored by Congressman William Jones and Senator John Shafroth, the legislation aimed to address the political status of the territory. The act not only conferred citizenship on Puerto Ricans, but also established a local legislature, allowing them to elect their own representatives. While this move was a step towards increased autonomy, it was not without controversy, as it also solidified Puerto Rico's colonial relationship with the United States. The jones shafroth Act, a product of its time, reflected a complex interplay of political, social, and economic factors, shaping the trajectory of Puerto Rico's status within the larger framework of American territorial governance. On this day in 1933, the iconic film King Kong was released to audiences, forever leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Directed by Marion C. Cooper and Ernest B. Shodzak, this groundbreaking motion picture showcased groundbreaking special effects and captivated viewers with the fantastical tale of a colossal gorilla captured on a mysterious island and subsequently brought to New York City. King Kong not only revolutionized the use of stop-motion animation and miniature sets in filmmaking, but also set the standard for the monster movie genre. The film's release was a cultural phenomenon, drawing massive crowds and becoming a timeless classic that continues to influence and inspire filmmakers to this day, demonstrating the enduring power of cinematic storytelling and the allure of larger-than-life creatures on the silver screen. On this day in 1962, basketball history was made when Wilt Chamberlain, playing for the Philadelphia Warriors, achieved an extraordinary feat by scoring 100 points in a single game against the New York Knicks. This remarkable accomplishment took place at the Hershey Sports Arena in Pennsylvania and Chamberlain's performance remains unparalleled in the annals of the NBA. The towering center dominated the court, showcasing not only his physical prowess but also his scoring expertise. The game's outcome, a 169-147 victory for the Warriors, solidified Chamberlain's status as one of the greatest players in basketball history. His remarkable achievement continues to stand as a legendary moment, a testament to individual excellence, and an enduring milestone that remains etched in the collective memory of sports enthusiasts worldwide. Thanks for journeying through history with us on On This Day. If you enjoyed the ride, hit subscribe and join us again tomorrow for more fascinating moments. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.